Evan, you're you're in there for for a pretty good player, obviously. But that was but you moved into that position in early August, and now it's mid September. Do you feel like you've laid claim to that position? You're more than just just a fill in. Um, no, it, it's still open. It's a fight between all the D tackles. Every practice, we're always competing to get better. How would you grade yourself out in uh, week one? Um, I did well. There were definitely some things I could improve. Yeah, improve on. Devin, what do you remember about the the pass rush last year at Syracuse? You guys, as a team, really got after it. I think it was like nine sacks or something. Do you remember kind of anything specific about that game, about that pass rush? Uh, we were just really locked in the entire game to all our keys and our get off keys, especially. We just got after them. Devin, how do you get back to that place where you're locked in? What's the key to getting to getting into that position? Um, just a lot of film study, studying what they do and seeing where where we can get chances to get some sacks. Evan, when you see a, a, a mobile quarterback like DeVito, how cognizant do you have to be of, of not um, getting too far upfield and, and giving him cracks, you know, to, to escape from? And, and how does that affect the pass rush uh, from you guys on the inside? Uh, it it just means you have to think a little bit more about what moves you take. You you might not want to take some more risky moves, and you might want to play it safe sometimes. Devin, Devin, what was Sunday morning like when you guys, uh, when you especially went over the video of how you played on, on Saturday with the coaches? Um, it's always good. You learn from film, win or lose, and I was just – Happy to get in there and see what I can learn from the film. What do you think you learned from, from the film? What do you, how do you think you played and what are the, some of the best things you did on Saturday? Um, I, I used my hands really well on Saturday and I came off the ball. I just, uh, I just need to work on some footwork things. Devin, we saw a couple of tweets from Rashad. Can you give us an idea of being around him, how antsy he is and what it's going to be like when he gets back on that field finally? Uh, He's super excited. Uh, I can't wait to see him out there. You, know, you guys obviously, you know, have been understanding that you weren't going to have Jalen this season for a while now. And then you find out, you know, I, I don't know when exactly you found out, but before the opener that, that Keyshawn wasn't going to be able to go. How do you feel like you and and Tyler and David and, and Kalaja kind of mixed together and, and just filled in uh, on Saturday? Well, we were just all ready to step up. Everyone in our room is ready to step up when their when their time is called. Do you feel like you're comfortable playing beside any of those guys? It doesn't really matter. Yes, I'm completely with everyone in the room. Uh, we talked to some of the other guys. Just the sense of getting out there on that first game and the oddity of not having any fans in the stands. Uh, did you even notice while you were in the midst of playing, or how did that affect you in any way? I didn't notice while we were playing, but when you come to the sidelines, you can't help but see empty stands. But it didn't bother me. You know, I was the only human being in the seat, and uh, I, I was the lone guy singing Sweet Caroline, just for your own information. They were checking his ticket. Uh, Devin, What's depth? What? How big of an advantage is depth along the defensive line, especially with uh, as deep as you guys are? Oh, it's an amazing advantage to have. Uh, it just allows us to rotate. No one's ever tired on the D line. There's always someone fresh in there. Evan, what'd you see uh, from uh, Dayon Hayes, true freshman, Pittsburgh kid, came in with two sacks in his first game. What'd you kind of see from him? Uh, he went out there, he got an opportunity to get out on the field, and he made the most of it. He he really did well on, sa on Saturday. <laughs> Any final questions? Uh, Devin, um, when it when it came to uh, when it came to the, the pass rush that you guys had against Austin P, they were they were using a lot of quick passes to get the ball off and try to neutralize it. How how have you guys talked about you know how you face there and how that's going to differentiate from the 
the offenses that you're about to face as you get ready for the ACC? Um, it just it, – can you repeat the question again? I'm sorry. I, I sort of got lost in it. You're fine, man. Okay, uh, so basically there were a lot of quick passes from Austin P to try to neutralize you, you guys as a pass rush. You still, you guys still got home a little bit, but, you know, have you guys talked about what it's going to be like differently as you face more, you know, different looks of offenses when you get ready to face, face the ACC teams like Syracuse? Yes, we talked about diff different moves, uh, getting to, like, more involved moves, like with deeper setting quarterbacks and, like, our caps uh, change.